Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN here, joined with this very special Rewind Theater for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I'm joined not by a fellow IGN editor who's a super fan, but actually I'm joined by a very authoritative voice on this matter. <laughs> no, not Kevin Spacey, though, quite frankly, Michael Condry. He would have been a little more interesting. I am a super fan, kidding. though. Right. He would have been pretty interesting, <laughs> it's true, in every single way. Uh, so, Michael Condry, you are the studio head, the co-studio head, That's which, right. which just doesn't look quite as good on the business card. Ah. you got to share the title with Glenn. That's true. Glenn Schofield. There's but a lot no, of sharing there. You are, of course, uh, you founded Sledgehammer Games with Glenn uh, five years back. You uh, contributed heavily to Modern Warfare 3, and here you are really entering Call of Duty into the next generation of consoles with advanced warfare built from the ground up for these new machines. We've been really optimistic from what we've been seeing so far. We're obviously we're covering the game exclusively all month long here on IGN as part of IGN First. So you've, you're dropping a new trailer for us, and we thought you'd, we'd bring you in specifically to help us break it down, because there is a lot to digest in this. There's a lot in this one, a lot we're proud of. And I want to thank you, and IGN, and everything you guys have been doing to cover it, because there's so much. Five years, a lot. Well, I've told you that, I mean, I, I personally have been off the Call of Duty bandwagon for a while. There, uh, you know, I could, I don't want to dwell on the negative, but but every, everything I've Focus seen on about the, the new Call Ryan. of Duty. Yeah, everything <laughs> about this new one, I, you're giving me reason to get sucked back in. And, I, and that starts with a uh, campaign that actually looks like it's innovating. It's doing some new things and it's taking some new creative risks and it's going in some fun new creative directions. Let's start with, I mean, obviously the exo themselves, the, the exo suits themselves, these exoskeletons that enable you to do all sorts of interesting new gameplay things. Well, let's, let's take a look at these guys. I mean, what are, uh, when you're sitting down to do a game, a Call of Duty game, and you got to think, all right, I got to change it up here. Yeah. Where does the exo come from? Well, you know, thank you for the compliments on the campaign. There's a lot we're focused on around the narrative and bringing guys like yourselves back and saying, hey, look, come here for a world-class narrative with Kevin Spacey and the EXO, like you said, as the heart and soul. And it really was a creative idea that was a catalyst almost three years ago to bring new ways to play, a compelling and provocative story, you know, something that was ripped from the headlines in terms of both the PMCs and the sort of growth of technology in the military. Right. So a lot to talk about, and, and really this, this shows it right from the beginning. This is the opening of the game. It uh, introduces the Marines who are going into South Korea. North Koreans have finally um, made that move, and uh, we're being called in to defend. And right off the bat, you get to see them loading into their exos. And uh, talk about this man for a second, <laughs> Kevin Spacey. Uh, we, you and I talked already in, a, in an interview that's, that's already run this month as part of IGN First that uh, that he was very high on the list. You also, you're a big Breaking Bad fan. You that's thought true. about Brian Cranston. But uh, tell me real quick the the, the highlight of, of working this with Spacey and what he brings to the table. Yeah, I got to tell you, you know, for us having the chance to work with a world-class actor, an actor's actor, uh, we describe him, and I think it's accurate, as one of the, you know, the greatest living actors today. You know, he brings being a, sneered at by this guy by, by, over on the right hand that's side right. of the frame there, there. There's some there's some leering going on. This is a great moment from the campaign as well, where really you get to understand that uh, Jonathan Irons, played by Kevin Spacey, um, is really laying down sort of the new world order, really, where you know PMCs they don't play by the same rules, and yeah. as you can see here, that allows him and his organization Atlas to do some things that you know, nation state militaries can't. And so, uh, man, talk about a performance. And, and you saw that right there, that was ripped straight from our performance capture. This, you're looking at an amazing shot of him coming to you yeah. in the game. Uh, um, let's, and that gives, I mean, your, your next gen engine, I mean, uh, again, I'm gonna speak as a, as a, as a lapsed Call of Duty fan. Uh, the engine- But current Call of Duty fan. Current, yes. <laughs> uh, so badly did the engine need a, a rewrite, and need a, a kick in the pants, and and those those character models, those faces, tell me that uh, mission accomplished. So uh, you guys have, you. have got some sweet new tech under the hood here. There is, yeah. You know, three years, a new generation of hardware, and a focus, like you said, to really bring new tech and new techniques. And so, yeah, we've um, we've really pushed heavily in lots of areas, including the character rendering system and animation system, to pull off. You know, I think we mentioned to you before. I mean, we're we're using. Cameron's avatar, facial and performance capture system straight out of Hollywood, matched yeah. with guys like Kevin Spacey to bring, you know, film quality experiences now. And I, I, this stopped me. Cold. <laughs> right there. Right here. So this is something never talked about, never shown. Uh, get over here. What, 
what, what is, is this? going on? What? T- talk, talk me through what the hell that was. Yeah, great moment. Uh, that first look, absolutely. So that is um, the AST or the um, armored support transport. And it's, uh, or we call it the, you know, the in-game mech, which is sort of an evolution of the juggernaut. You've seen it. Um, you'll play it in, as a score streak in multiplayer, and you'll play against it throughout the campaign. And this is sort of your counter. This is your grapple, um, which you're use, you use to get around the world. But also, as you can AST, see here. Would AST actually, could, how about uh, asshole subduing technology? Well, it could be, because clearly you're doing some <laughs> s- subduing here. And just what a great moment to talk about the power of the EXO and what it can do. And yeah, you're... You don't want to be on the receiving end of this because so, this is this is a little nasty. So this will happen in all facets of the game campaign, uh, the EXO co-op, which we'll talk about in a minute, and and multiplayer as well. Well, so the um, the EXO, of oh. course, you know, trans, uh, transcends all the game modes. Um, the we call it the Goliath um, as the yeah, AST, the big suit there, right? Yeah. The big suit. Also, the grapple right now is primarily featured in campaign, um, and we have some more ideas to bring that to the rest of the game. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, and so you know you don't you, you don't always use it to get around the world. Um, you can use it as a counter there and another place in the campaign. So, a lot to come there. Right here, we're looking at if uh, from our I know from our hands-on time down at your studio with multiplayer, this is your virtual yeah. lobby um, where you can basically it's uh, it's it's. Uh, character model porn where you can really show <laughs> off you can show off everything you've worked hard to unlock is that fair to say yeah i mean this is you know another big thing that we've brought in terms of innovating the mp experience we're pretty proud of this this is truly now an avatar based sort of lobby system this is where all of your loot your supply drop rewards come together and you can see it here i mean if you rewind just a bit there you can take a look at everybody in the lobby that uh you're going to be going up against all the really incredible gear and weapons they've unlocked and of course you know the end shot, this is the headhunter mask. This is uh, sort of a um, challenge-based piece of loot based off of headshots in a match. And, man, when you're rocking that, <laughs> right? I mean, talk Run. about I like character porn. I don't think I've ever used that term before, but I might have to now. And now we're jumping in MP. A lot going on here, right? Here's the AST again, yep. the, the Goliath score streak. I mean, talk about a badass. This is the future juggernaut. Nice. Yeah, everything it can do. One, two, three. Yeah. Four about to die here. <laughs> this is a great shot here too. You, you remember um, score streaks? We talked about being customizable. So the Goliath yeah. itself is a you know 775 point score streak, customizable in this mode. So you've added the ping, right? Um, an additional module as well as the homing rocket. So man, this is now like a almost a thousand point score streak. But you are a badass. So what's what is that? Is the ping the uh, that's the red that yeah. does that show makes guys show up whether they're hiding behind cover or, or something? That's right. It's uh, threat detection, right? So you you send out a signal. You can see the blue line waves being sent out, and then it comes back to your augmented reality as as highlights of your enemies. And, and then why would I want to self destruct if I'm ever in this thing? <laughs> well, you know, there's a there's a lot going on here, and. Um, there's a moment at the end when you're going down where you can sort of take out people around you in sort of the last hero's moment, if you will. This is a great shot, too, with another... Um, oh, that's a map I haven't seen yeah, yet. Yeah, that's right. This is a new map called Green Band. It's sort of a rooftop garden in Seoul, uh, South Korea, and a new um, optic that you haven't seen before. This is the autofocus, so it, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, standard optic, sort of red dot optic, until you get on an enemy, and then it focuses into a, oh, into a zoom. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, pretty cool, cool there. Like this a lot. Oh, uh, the power of the EXO with the EXO Slam, another sort of pro move of uh, being able to do a, a vertical melee. Yet another new map here. That's right. Yeah, we're showing off a lot in this one, and this one, Spike oh, Drone. Oh, look that, at that. Right into his head. Using the new uh, launcher, um, right into his head, right? This is such a fun. Ah, oh, love that. A little bit of violence in today's uh, Rewind Theater. but And the great thing about that one, you know, take him down, or you can plant that and do... Uh, sort of an ambush move where you call it back to you, you can get a, <laughs> a, a kill with it there. So another new map coming up here, Horizon, yep. with the Exo Slide kill, looking great. So man, there's a lot to show you guys in this video. How many maps are in this game? A lot. Yeah, we're taking you around the world. You know, it's a around the world journey MP campaign co-op. So uh, pretty fun. Love that shot Help right me. there. Another good look at uh, the power of the EXO, and there's the Semtech doing a, a nice shot at <laughs> mid-air explosion. I like that you, he, did, can you manually trigger that, or was that just on a, a standard delay there? Yeah, you can You can cook off uh, lethals through the Oof. launcher. Because uh, they waited till friends were around there. 
Uh, here's another good look at a um, map-based score streak. So now you're in Detroit, a map I don't think we've showed before yet. I have yet. not seen it. Yeah. And uh, map-based score streaks are, are modules you can build in. Um, in this particular case, you get to take the Gatlin gun on the Sky Tram there. And nice. Knock people out. So. Now, okay, now ah. we get to the fun part. So yeah. uh, I had a chance to play this. Uh, you obviously have played this many times, given that you made the game. Exo Survival, people have been asking us all month long during uh, IGN First, what's the co-op mode? What's yeah. going on? So it's this. Give me the quick, the, the Cliff's Notes version, and we'll dive in. Yeah, well, we're really excited, and, and I'm glad you got to play it, because now you can help talk about it from yes. a, an outside perspective. But for us, it was all about four-player, wave-based survival, utilizing all the power of the Exo. I'm not and fighting the aliens. I'm not fighting zombies. No, it's not aliens, not zombies, and we strategically wanted to bring you into the full force of the EXO Advanced Soldier. I mean, think about, if you will, really, um, you know, four fully decked out, almost Iron, Iron Man-like experiences here. I mean, you are geared up, and you are outnumbered and outgunned, and it's it's bringing a lot. It's so, a ton of fun. Uh, when, when this was first described to me at your studio, I thought, oh, okay, it's whatever, it's... it's Halo's firefight or Gears of War's horde mode, but it turns out they're actually there. I genuinely love the heck out of this because it does some smart design things. In that, uh, number one, it never ends. There aren't 50 rounds, there aren't 100 rounds, there are uh, infinite rounds. You told me that your test team has gotten into about the mid 60s. That's the best anyone's ever done. <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty tough. You're right. You can you can run maps to infinite rounds to chase the leaderboards, right? Which is always cool. And yeah. We saw that before. You, there's also sort of a progressive circuit that works your way through all of the maps um, to kind of give you a, a sense of completion. Um, and so you can kind of tackle it both ways. Uh, and man, it's a ton of fun. There is a lot going on in this one. As you can see, you know, everything from, you know, the ability to, to pick your class. Yeah, and that was upgrade. the next thing yep. I wanted to get to because it's, uh, but you, you earn upgrade points you for do. succeeding each round and you can spend those. There's, you know, there, there's a, around each map, there's an armory, which is tagged there with the, the gun icon on the HUD, the little, it'll be a, a, like a loot crate thing. And then uh, sometimes nearby, sometimes a little further away, yep. depending on the map, is the actual EXO upgrade station. And so you can spend your points however you choose, and obviously you might need to bank points That's right. but for a, a number of rounds to afford something really good. But you can upgrade your weapons. You can, I mean, I actually, in, granted I only got to play for about half an hour, but I, sp I decided, all right, I just want to make my general armor better, my general firepower better. So I took kind of some passive skills, but what are some of the other other things you can do to upgrade yourself to really sort of customize your experience in this as the waves go on and on. Yeah, I mean, we really wanted to, to unleash the full power of the EXO here, right? So it starts with classes. You, there's three different classes that you can start with from the yeah, beginning. Yeah. And you can upgrade your armor, your weapon type, your EXO abilities, um, score streaks, all of the things that you can bring to bear, like example here, care package, right? To really hold off a massive offense from, you know, cloaked enemies, drones, you know, ASTs, you're going to have AST waves coming at you. Yep. As you can see here, it's a great shot. You're going to bring all that customization, all of the character gear that you've earned through multiplayer to bring to bear. Uh, man, this has just got so much in it. And, you know, it, it's really going to challenge you and your four, your four uh, teammates, or three teammates. And what is this red dome, what is going on over here <laughs> yeah, in this there's, scene? There's a lot in this scene, as you can see here. So they're going to they're gonna come at you with everything as well, right? We're really going to challenge your skill level. So they're going to throw areas of um, EMPs at you. There's a lot that they're going to do here to try and slow you down. And, oh, by the way, one thing we haven't hit on... We've also introduced this concept of objective-based rounds. I so, was just going to get to that, yeah, because yeah. that's another thing I think that makes this a really smart game mode and not just, you know, repetitive wave after wave is uh, you can, you'll, you'll throw different things at us, yeah. and if you get rewards if you succeed, but what I actually thought was cool was you'll be penalized, be penalized if you if fail. Don't. That's right, absolutely. There'll be um, rounds like... Uh, it's sort of like kill confirm where you have to capture the dog tags, right? There'll be intel you have to gather. There'll be hold the hard points. And if you don't do those things, the enemies will then attack you. We can actually see it here in the, the upper right corner. The, we have a dynamic objective here. I, yep. I'm guessing maybe it's to bring down 10 of the drones, which, by the way, are a huge pain in the, in <laughs> yeah. the butt. I can tell you from personal experience. Uh, down in the lower left, so somewhat obscured by our time code there, you can see upgrade zero. Yep. We've spent our points, but that's where that's kept track of absolutely um, 
So, and then I know if, I don't know if how far if we can find it. It was only if in it for like a frame or two. Right there, there was a. Uh, the dogs have returned to chomp on us. Yep, that's right. The uh, this time they come back in the form of, of Doberman, as you can see here, as another wave. What do you got and against Dobermans, Michael Connery? <laughs> well, I I think they bring a, an interesting <laughs> additional wave. Like the the drones in the air are pretty powerful, yeah. right? And you're going to see that ground-based troops, um, ASTs, cloaked guys, Doberman. They're coming at you, and they're coming at you hard. Here's a great shot here. I like Ooh. this one. Little uh, secret peek at a loot. Uh, Sledgehammer five-year uh, custom <laughs> EXO. So there's been nice. a lot of questions about what are we planning on doing with Team EXOs um, across the game. And, and man, unlimited possibility to earn stuff in multiplayer. Bring it with your squad here. Look like a total badass. And then, uh, so let's see. Uh, does it this does this scale uh, based on because you. Can you, can you or can you not? You can actually technically do this by yourself, right? You, you don't have to have all four people in there. That's right. Absolutely. There's a, you know, you can go at it just by yourself, and that proves particularly challenging and a lot of fun. Um, you can go at it with teams online or split screen drop in, sort of couch mode, if you will. Nice. Lots of ways to play. And, um, you know, it, like you, you said, like there's a lot going on here, um, and really it comes to life in people's hands. So you've got your hands on it, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I really had a good time with it. Uh, Alfredo and I, Alfredo is the most talented first-person shooter we have here at IGN, and he and I made it to the 16th wave before dying. Nice, uh, exactly. Now, you could argue that maybe I was uh, holding us back. A little handicap, a little yeah, Alfredo maybe handicap. I was the problem. <laughs> but, uh, well, actually, you know, he had to, he had to, res actually, the one other key thing to mention, actually, uh, there is a there is a down but not out system. It's that's not right. uh, once you're down, that's that's not it. Your buddy can come over and, and save you, you, which thank goodness. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, you know, Alfredo had to come bail me out a couple times, but I had to bail him out a couple times as well. Nicely but done. But it got what I liked about this is we started to see the AI just really crank, and we saw the the PMCs just strafing and flying all over the place yeah. with their exo suits, and what it actually led me to question, which I'll go ahead and ask you now uh, on microphone, are, are we going to see some of that cranked up AI uh, coming at us in the in the single player campaign? Because I'm a single player guy, I want that kind of challenge in the campaign. Yeah, you really are going to see a lot. I mean, the behaviors that you're talking about, obviously, as your EXO gives you new abilities to boost and, and boost dodge, we bring that to bear in campaign and co-op as well. Um, obviously, you can do it in multiplayer. So all these amazing new movement sets um, are going to prove to be more challenging as well when you're facing them in the enemy. And you're seeing that here, right? Like, it, it's a very different experience when you're going up against an enemy with the EXO who is cloaked right. and has the ability to dodge. Uh, you're getting some pretty crazy firefights. And uh, Look at that shot right there, too, just to end on. Just the power <laughs> of four players, you know, for survival to have four players coming together cooperatively, it's pretty awesome. And we've got a, you told me, a longer than usual single player campaign. Yeah, we, you were, we're excited about the, um, the experience get of the campaign. Get over here. Yeah, get over here. Um, so the campaign is, is longer than your average Call of Duty campaign. Um, Co-op is deep and rich. Multiplayer. Oh, man, and are we going to end here? Because this is... Yeah, and the co-op, by the way, we should, it, 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 it takes place on the existing multiplayer maps. It does, yes. yeah. It's a chance to work your way through oh, the maps, so which we good. like. <laughs> oh, right? And you're not, your spine's not supposed to do that. No, it's, um, it's, it's never a good way to end your day on one of these. This is another <laughs> example of the grapple kill um, from campaign and just what you can use with the power of the EXO. And, yeah, you, you don't... You don't do this very often, do you? Because it just makes for a rough morning. So for me, so if you're if you're an existing Call of Duty super fan, a ton to love here. If you're like me, if you've been out of the a returning super the, fan, yeah, out of the loop for a little bit, a lot to be optimistic about. Uh, Michael Condry, <laughs> thanks so much for literally breaking uh, is a perfect word for breaking this uh, this Pleasure very action packed Ryan. trailer down with us. And uh, for more on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, we've got stuff coming all month long right here on IGN First. Mr. Condry, thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.